Hi, this is Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments, and this short video is part of the TI Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to take a look both symbolically and graphically at Taylor polynomials wheels using the TI Inspire. Let's get started. A little explanation of what we're going to see. We've set up a document here which will let us uh, define a function, f1. And then we'll have a slider that we'll use to specify the degree of the Taylor polynomial for f1 of x. We're also going to have a movable point that will let us change the center of expansion for the Taylor polynomial. Let's take a look at how it works. So we'll go to the graph screen. And you can see that I've plotted the graph of sine x. That's our function, f1. And the blue graph is that of the Taylor polynomial. Let's actually take a look at these formulas. So there's f1 of x sine x, and f2 of x is the Taylor polynomial for f1 of x of degree n centered at a. And a is, its value is controlled by that movable point. All right, so let's take a look. We've got n equals 0, which would just be a constant function whose value will match the value of the function at that one point a. Since sine of 0 is 0, that's why we're seeing constant function 0 at a equals 0. As I move the point a, notice I just get a floating horizontal line. That's because each of these 0 degree polynomials is really just a constant function. Now if I change the degree up to 1, now I get a first degree, or actually a tangent line approximation. And as I move the point A, the tangent line is floating along the curve, always tangent to the point where x is equal to A. Now if I change the degree to 2, what happens is that I move the point. This is now a second degree approximation. Or you could think of this as a parabola of best fit. The shape of the parabola indicates the concavity. When the parabola opens up, the curve's concave up. When the parabola opens down, the curve's concave down. When the parabola becomes a straight line, we have an inflection point. Now let's take a look at some higher order Taylor polynomial expansions at x equals 0. As we move the degree up to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and higher, we can see that the Taylor polynomial graph is hugging the sine x graph for larger and larger intervals. Okay, now let's reduce the degree back down to 1. And what I'd like to do now is take a look at another function. So I've gone down to n equals 1, giving us a tangent line approximation. I'm going to move the point a over to x equals 1. And now we're going to edit our function. So I'll do a control G bring up our graph editor and we'll go up to f1. I'm going to edit the sine x function to another familiar function, natural log. So I'm making that edit to f1 of x equal natural log of x. We'll hit enter and this will update our graph. Now we hit the red graph is that of ln of x and we have a tangent line approximation at x equal 1. As so I move the degree of the Taylor polynomial up, we see kind of an interesting phenomenon. The fit here around 2.5 is really quite bad. It's pretty good between 0 and 2, but pretty bad to the right of 2. As I increase the degree even higher, I see that between 0 and 2, I'm getting a nicer and nicer fit. Of course, natural logarithm has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. This really illustrating very nicely the notion of interval of convergence. All right, well, let's go to another page where we actually have an opportunity to look both symbolically and graphically at Taylor polynomials. So I've defined f of x is equal to e to the x. g of x is its Taylor polynomial expanded at x equals 0 with the degree controlled by this slider over here. Right now the degree is set at n equals 0, and as you can see, our red graph is that of a constant function. It matches the value of e to the x at x equals 0, so it's just the constant function 1. As I change the degree to 1, 
I get the tangent line approximation and notice that we actually have an update to the formula for g of x shown here. So we actually have the formula for the tangent line approximation. Here's the quadratic approximation, both symbolically and graphically. can move up to a cubic, quartic, and even higher degree. I'm going to go ahead and move the degree all the way up to 6, and we'll see both the 6 degree Taylor polynomial symbolically as well as its graph. Well, that concludes this video. For more calculus resources like these, see education.ti.com.